Welcome to my channel and many thanks for joining. Today's video is going to feature the restoration of this, this hydraulic jack. Clearly it's a, it's a heavily rated jack, it's up to 10 tonnes. So I assume this is made, designed for lifting up trucks or lorries. Uh, regrettably it doesn't work. This doesn't hold any hydraulic force. And it's absolutely caked in, in dirt, greasy dirt. So this is the part that pumps it up, but you can see it doesn't hold. When I bought it, I bought it in a flea market in Portugal. The guy suggested it might just need a new seal, and uh, unfortunately his eyes were telling me something different. So what's gonna, what we're going to find inside here, I don't know. It just leaves me now to make some initial cleaning up of all this, try to get it back to bare metal. Not very much oil in there. This is a degreasing tank using a, a chemical which is basically for removing uh, any type of uh, oil residues, basically cleaning things up. I need to remove the head of the, uh, or the, the, the part that's been pinned over on this pin. I had to make a special tool for, for removing this in the end, it just wouldn't, it wouldn't come out any other way. This is the leather cup seal which fell apart. I have to now go back and clean up the insides of the, 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 the cast body because it's got residue, a lot of um, solid uh, residue inside. I just wanted to show you the parts which have now been cleaned up after disassembly. 
you could, this was a in a hell of a mess. It needed a lot of time to get all this. Uh, it was very contaminated with dirty oil. Uh, probably been sitting around for many many years. You may have noticed that I found the the failure point, which was this cup seal. It's a leather cup seal, and I believe these were quite common in jacks and things like that many years ago. So it fell apart in my hands. And of course this is the part that supports the, 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 um, the cylinder or the movement of the jack. So that needs to be, I need to make a new one. This is a part which fits into the piston. It needs, it's bent on the end here a little bit so it needs a little bit of work there, it needs a dressing. And one of the wheels has got some cracks in it, that needs to be repaired there. And for the rest, I would guess that it was probably designed and made to last about a thousand years. And uh, it's absolutely incredible. And this, this jack must have cost a lot of money at the time when it was, when it was sold to the public. Unbelievable. I'm now starting to make a new leather cup seal for the main piston. This was soaked in water for 24 hours and then left in the mould to dry for another 24 hours. Very happy with that, that looks great. Just shot blasting a few pieces, can't, I can't shot blast all of it because the, the shot blasting media will, will not be appropriate for our hydraulic jack. Just repairing the cracks with silver brazing. Just going to reface the, uh, the main uh, nut. Just doing some cleaning up with a wire brush wheel. If you do this yourselves, make sure you've always got some face protection on, at least. Here are the pieces of metal that I need. I'm going to make a new lever, because the, 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 the jack came without one. So basically it involves making two ends and welding them on, you'll see. Just making a cork gasket now, which goes underneath the main nut. 
I'm just starting to make the part. This is the part which is going to uh, go on top of the jack, which will be in t which will touch the chassis of the of the vehicle. I'm now cutting a pattern into the into the edge of this piece. I'll need to use this. This is a a, a milling machine and a, div, a dividing head. So basically, I'll need to use this in slightly off vertical, and I'll need to use it again in horizontal a little bit later. I'm using an oxyacetylene torch here to heat the end up, otherwise it's almost impossible to, to peen it over. Just making another gasket, another cork gasket. This is for the main body of the jack. I now have all the parts ready for assembly. I've, I've shown in the video some parts which I've uh, remade. And that includes this uh, piston seal which has been made from leather. The original one fell to pieces. I've made some new gaskets here. I've put a new pin in this. This is the pressure release. I've made a new part for there, which is the part which touches the chassis. The other one was no good. I've made a new lever. This is a lever for the um, moving the hydraulic piston up and down, and this is the part which will release the pressure, so it will lower it. It just leaves me now to assemble it and, uh, and try it. It's a treat, look at that.
I'm just filling up to a, I'm guessing a level. This is hydraulic oil, it's just slightly discoloured, that's all, it's not, doesn't really have any importance. Bingo, it works. I just wanted to briefly show you the, the item finished. Now you can see the big difference from the beginning to what it is now. And not only that, it works. If I release the pressure on this, I can push it down. Obviously this now needs a test, a proper test. I don't own a lorry, but I do own a Jeep. Just going to show you now some uh, photos of before and after. <laughs> 